so hello everyone today we are going to discuss the problem we were both children from code forces round 886 so let's read the our statement so each uh, uh, initially uh, mirava and slavic were looking at a group of n frogs numbered from 1 to n all initially located at point 0 frog i has a hop length of ai each second frog i hops ai unit forward Uh, before any frog start hopping, Slavik and Mihai, uh, Mihai, uh, Mihaya can place exactly one trap in a coordinate in order to catch all frogs that will ever pass through the corresponding coordinate. However, the children can't go far away from their home, so they can only place the trap in the first end points uh, from coordinate one to n. And the children can't place a trap at point zero since they are scared of frogs. So, can you help? to find the maximum number of frogs they can catch using the trap so let's uh, deep dive into the problem so, yeah. so basically we having an array which contain values right let us say 1 3 2 4 right so this is the array and um, uh, the mihavika and slavic want to catch as many as frogs so uh, they can they can uh, put a trap they can have only one trap and they can put the trap from 1 to n to catch the frogs so they can either put it in, it on 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 right so you have to tell the maximum number of frogs they can catch uh, they can catch right so and they can hop the uh, frog can hop ai units ai unit is time when it started from zero every frog started from zero so let us say for a first frog what is this uh, path or you can say what what uh, how, uh, which coordinate the uh, frog at index zero is going to uh, uh, travel right So from zero you can go to one, from one you can go to two, from two you can go to three, and from three you can go to four. And we have to only look for n equals to till n equals to four because after that we can't put any trap. So we don't have to do much about the future steps of that frog. So we can only look for n equals to four till n equals to four, right? So let's build for the second frog. So he started from zero, and he can jump three units, and he can jump to six. So this is eight because we have to look for n equals till n equals to four. So for the third frog, he can jump to two, he can jump to four, or he can jump to six. So we don't have to do much. We can do only uh, till this. And for the full last frog, full frog, he can jump to four steps forward. So we we have to do do only for till n equals to four. So let's check if I put a trap on n equals to one from starting from n equals to two. So here I am putting the trap at trap. I am writing here trap. So if I am putting a trap at one, so how many frogs I can catch, right? So if I put the trap at index n equals to one, so I can uh, catch this frog only one frog, right? And if I uh, put a trap on n equals to two, so I can catch this frog and this frog as well. So if I put n equals at n trap at n equals to two, so I can catch two frog. And if I uh, put a trap at n equals to three, so I can this frog, this frog. So if I put a trap at n equals to three, so I can also same uh, I can look catch this is catch. I can catch two frogs, right? And if I put n equals to four, so I can catch this frog. I can catch this frog, and I can also catch this frog. So here. And equals to the uh, we can catch three frogs. So from there we have to only look for one to n. So uh, what is the maximum value here? So this is three. 
which is for uh, at trap at n equals to 4. So in this case, uh, my answer is 3. So I can only get 3 uh, forks. So um, what is the uh, uh, approach for this, right? So in this question, the constraints are uh, the uh, n equals n is 10, 10 is uh, 10 raised to the power 5 and the time limit is 3 seconds. So we can uh, definitely build a brute force solution for this, which is uh, basically which is nearly n squared. So the, this is quite uh, easy to build a uh, brute force approach for this. Uh, we start from the first index, right? So we having elements like 1, 3, 2, and 4. So this is our index, the array, right? So I start with this. So I keep track, uh, keep track of all the points. This uh, from this index we can go. So and we have to look only till n equals to four. Uh, if the frog moves beyond n equals to four, I just break my uh, loop, right? So for uh, for n equal i a i equals to one. I keep track all the points the this frog is visited. So this frog is visited one, two, and three. And similarly, uh, for n equals uh, for i equals to one, uh, frog is visited index three and six. So every time uh, a frog visited any index, let us say a frog uh, first frog visited this 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 index one. And uh, in the second term, if the frog visited this index again, so I just keep uh, increase this uh, the this value by one because another frog is visiting this. We have to we have to check which index at most frogs uh, most frog visited which index. So if I found that index, then the that value is the answer. So I just keep track of. Uh, the path followed by all the frogs and just increase the value at that index. So this is uh, it for uh, of this approach, and I can reduce the time complexity by using a map which uh, a set which store only unique elements. So I have to do for only unique elements as if there is one more four. So I hope uh, I know this four and this four are in the same path means. If this four traveling uh, this way, so the this four also follow this, right? So, but uh, they increase the count means both increase the count. So I just keep track of the number of uh, values, repeating values. So in this this map is two two means we having two fours, right? And we only uh, do for one four, and I just increase my count by two every time because I know there are two fours, right? But I have to I, I have to reduce the time com uh, to reduce the time complexity or to make our solution more efficient. I can just use one four and I have keep track of all the values, all the values which uh, uh, how many times a number occurring. I just increase that by uh, our value. So this is uh, it for this the approach it, approach of this question. Uh, let's keep uh, let's see the solution, which give you a more understanding about the solution, right? Implementation. So I just take n and take a vector which is for the values in a, and I take an order set which stores the unique values, right? And I when I take a an order demand which is to uh, basically I can also use the uh, a vector here, but I prefer map at the contest time. So uh, and I just iterate over the all values of I I take input and I insert these values in my site and uh, increment my map uh, the value at MPP by uh, one. If I found two elements of a similar kind, I increase my value. At n p right, and then for each unique value in the set, I iterate over the index i t till n, and I increase the values I encountered at a given index with n p p t because this is storing the number of values uh, of i t. 
uh, of type it right if there are four, uh, there are two values of uh, uh, two values which are of three then this map holds increment the, in, the index next byte to right and then i increment my index because the this is the hoping value the the frog can jump right and then i will create a max to just store the maximum value uh, among all the all the all the values in the map and just uh, return this right so i hope you enjoy this video for more such content i can subscribe to our channel uh, and goodbye